Hello, I'm Cameron Williams. Welcome to A Current Affair. First, how Australia's favourite tourist destinations are turning into slums. As you're about to see, multi-million dollar properties are being trashed and left to rot. Beautiful beaches. Beautiful weather. But not even that can improve this view. Our city, city reputation is uh, a stake. It's a world famous holiday destination, attracting hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. But if they were to look closely, all that glitters is certainly not gold. Do you think they're eyesores? They are eyesores, yes. Million dollar commercial properties abandoned, then trashed by squatters, and vacant blocks that have been left untouched for years. This is a gradual process that's been permitted to happen by the owners of these properties, and it's unacceptable. Coming into surface paradise, and this is what greets you. The property used to be a duty-free store and a Chinese restaurant, but now its only tenants are a couple of squatters. And to show you just how widespread the problem of neglected properties is, come with me across the highway. I've walked just 100 metres down the road and now I'm in front of this vacant property. It was bought for development, but it's been vacant and boarded up like this for almost two years. The Oak Building was bought by a big investment company for around $6.2 million in August 2009. Prime waterfront real estate, now derelict. Gold Coast City Mayor Tom Tate has had enough of buildings like this scarring his city. First up, um, you appeal to community spirit and uh, sense of humanity and uh, do the good things. But um, if, if it's a, a no for an answer, then we wheel out the big stick. He may need a few of those. Back across the road from the Oak Building, the vacant block sold for $6.38 million back in 2011. And still, no plans for development have been received. Your hotel is right opposite this vacant block. What do you, what do you think to it? It doesn't look very nice. <laughs> not a good view from the hotel room? No. Uh, not really, no. Not from 12 storeys up there. There's all graffiti on it as well. A suburb away, the Oriental Garden restaurant is well and truly closed for business and has been for over two years. And this was the old Broadbeach Market site. It sold for $4 million in 2005, but there's no market and definitely no building. It destroys the feel and the vibe of the suburb and we want it fixed yesterday. It's this former medical centre turned scar on the landscape that has Ben Murphy from the Voice of Burley Group seeing red. I mean this is a main highway so a lot of tourists travel up and down here and this is the impression they get of the Gold Coast. The community even chipped in back in 2011 to clean it up even though the owners live just a suburb away. It's not fair for this owner, it's not fair for that owner, that owner, any of these owners or residents in this area that this building gets left like this. A recent trial in Dublin saw derelict buildings turned into community art and leisure centres and the mayor thinks that could be implemented here. But if that doesn't work, he says he's not afraid to lift rates. I have no doubt that uh, uh, I'll be supported at the state level as well. Look, it's a bit of mistiming, unfortunately. Rarely is the time to buy a development site, the same time to actually develop it. Andrew Bell from Ray White Real Estate says the owners are likely to still develop. They just need a push. But I think it is time to start putting time frames to it. And with the Commonwealth Games coming to the Gold Coast, longtime resident Audrey agrees. And this is supposed to be the tourist capital of Australia. And this is what they're greeted with. Exactly. I would look at the owners in the eye and, uh, and say, you wouldn't have that in front of your house, would you? Well, the Gold Coast is our home. Don't have it in front of the house. Yeah, but looking them in the eye isn't working, isn't it? Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate really needs to get out that big stick he was talking about, and he says he will work to change council laws and force action on those slums.